Shalom. 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 Hello. Um, yeah, they were talking that this is J.D. Nyjah, Word of Truth, Coffee with J.D. Nyjah, Upset Stomach with J.D. Nyjah, fuck, turns my stomach, some of this shit, the Lord's going, do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, I'm, not, I'm doing it, um, all honor, praises, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, so I'm um, vocab Malone in this, um, this dude, I, I don't know who he was, but he was like, everyone has to have someone to play off of to make it seem more believable. And there's interest, you know, Oh, what, so what else is going on vocab? And they were talking about the, um, the paleo Hebrew and the Rikaha Kodash and the, um, what do they call it? The, Lashawan Kodash. Um, I'm starting to see that as a gimmick because we don't need that right now. We don't need to be caught up in a language that we can't understand. We need to we need to talk to each other in language we can understand. But and that they made a good point about that. Um. The Hebrew language is good enough. We don't need the, the Paleo Hebrew because we can't understand it. What's the use? Let's stick to the Greek and the Hebrew, right? Craziness. And that's that's where the craziness comes in with a lot of this. Uh, they're doing too much. Okay, so I'm still in Deuteronomy. I'm just going to keep reading. So what Moses is saying in, in, here is... Don't you know, as Israel, you're going to be given supernatural ability to know the scriptures. They, it's your book. And that was another thing these guys went into, Vocab Malone and this other apologist, this white devil, um, that, um, God, now I lost my train of thought, um, Oh, the words, the, the power comes onto us from on high and Israel, oh, the book, the book, they were saying, oh yeah, one of the biggest arguments for GMS and these, um, Hebrew Israelites is that they'll tell vocab, it's not your book. You don't understand it because it's not your book. And that, I would say that is true. See, I know from what the Lord's giving me, I don't have to worry about the untruths. And, and I do to a certain extent because I have to say, that's not what the Lord tells me. That's not what the Lord tells me. That's not the truth. That's not what I'm I'm getting. My antenna is up, and I'm getting full Holy Spirit indwelling. And the things that I bring out are going to be <clears throat> straight from the book. I'm not I'm not twisting anything. I'm telling you exactly what it says. And you can believe me or not that. I mean, the Joseph thing, that's, I'm, I can't even argue with that one anymore. That's like retarded. But flat earth, there's no way to prove either way. So anyone who laughs at the fact that flat earth, and, and that's what vocab and this guy were saying, oh yeah, that's almost as crazy as the flat earthers. It's not crazy. And that's what's, that's one of the last that's going to be one of the last ones that's going to get a lot of people destroyed. The Lord's going to say, when did I ever tell you that we were spinning around on a ball flying through space? Don't you know <laughs> I would I would have told you so? Does it, look, does it look round to you? You can look all the way to your left and all the way to your right. And there is no... <clears throat> the 
the power, the power of of the flat plane, the power of the the convex earth or whatever is the fact that the energy lines can bounce around in here. When you get thunder and lightning, you can hear it. The lightning goes and then the thunder goes, ba boom. If we were spinning on a wet ball rocket and the and the heavens were wide open, the sound would go out. You would hear no ba ba boom. This guy's racing too. Fucking idiot. Slack you. <clears throat> just just the sound of thunder alone. You would you wouldn't hear a ba boom. It would go boom, and the sound would go out. There would be it's bouncing off something. That's why you hear. When you hear a jet go faster than the speed of sound, the sound is bouncing off the firmament and it's coming back. Unbelievable that people just don't get it. All right, Israel to choose good or evil. See, verse 15, Deuteronomy 30. I'm just continuing to read because this is it. Um, see, I have set before you thee this day life and good and death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments, his statutes and judgments, that you may live and multiply. And the Lord thy God, Yahweh power, shall bless thee in the land, whether you goest to possess it. But if thine heart turn away so that thou wilt not hear, but shalt be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. See, <clears throat> believing in um, globe earth, heliocentric, that's another God. That's what, that's what you people don't understand. <sighs> You're believing in something that it, it, it has not been proven. You need to use your own eyes and you need to hear with your own ears. I remember seeing the the moon landing and I went ha <laughs> ha I laughed. It was it was it was so bad it was comical and I was only what 9 years old. 8 years old and I saw the ridiculousness of that. I I watched it for a second I went eh. The teacher saw me. That's why they that's why they set me apart in nursery school. They're like, this you can't fool this kid. The other kids are all staring at it with their fucking dumbass eyes. Ugh, I'm like looking at it through adult um god eyes going, Yeah, right. People that believe that shit are fucking Worshipping other gods. Um, I call heaven and earth to record this day. See, and this is where... <clears throat> this is where a lot of people are going to get snared. You think he doesn't see and hear everything? Well, then listen to this. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. <sighs> Slock it. That you may love the Lord your God, your power, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers, Abraham, Ichab, Isaac and Jacob to give them. Um, what's it saying? Obey his voice and cleave to him. Why are you cleaving onto lies from Esau? So then it goes into him destroying the nations and this and that, but the part I wanted to get to, this is the part I opened to this morning. And this is the part that the Lord wanted me to talk about. Um, 
and I'll go into this real quick. I think I need to read this, a song for Israel, because this is where it starts. It's um, Deuteronomy 32, 19, a song for Israel. Now, therefore, write you this song for you and, and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths. For this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. <laughs> What's he saying? JD Nijah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to witness against these these wicked Israelites. Put it in your mouth. Get it ready, because it's a song that you're gonna sing, being that you're of the singers, you're of Asaph, you're of the musicians. You're going to dance and sing before me against Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers that flow with milk and honey and shall have eaten and filled themselves and wax and fat, then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles have befallen them that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouth of Mouth of their seed, for I know their imaginations, which they go about even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swore. What do I tell GMS all the time? You, you fuckers have some vain imaginations, bro. And they're doing the same things. They're Israel. I believe it. They're Israel. But they are not getting the full picture and the Lord is setting them up. Mark my words, record it this day. It'll be recorded this day that I am speaking against these. It says right there, I know their imaginations, which they go about even now before I have brought them into the land, which I swore even now to this day, they're still claiming Joseph is the father of Yahushai. They're claiming um, all these extraneous things like um, we're on a spinning web ball rocket. Um, only Israel, only only black people are Israel. Um, they know exactly who the eat. They don't know shit. They need to back off a little bit because they're. They're saying things that aren't true and they're leading people into these untruths through the Bible. Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it to the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Be strong and of good courage, for you shall bring the children of Israel into the land which I swore unto them, and I will be with thee. So, Joshua, Yahshua, that's the forerunner of Yahushai, he said, He's saying, <clears throat> be strong. So, so I'm going to get into this and then we'll close out. Um, the Levites in charge of the book of the law. <clears throat> so when we think of <clears throat> the southern tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, <clears throat> what you got to realize in what these, these, I've been saying it over and over again, but no one's listening. No one can hear me. The Levites were the ones that were singing. The Levites were the ones that were day in, day out worshiping. The Levites were in charge of keeping things in the right vibration, in the right, um, tone in the right pitch <clears throat> so they would get on those steps and they would sing and they would go up into the temple and they would sing and they would worship and they would bring everyone in and everyone would hear the singing and people would sing the same <clears throat> songs depending on what they had to sing that day whatever the Lord put on them to sing what you don't understand is they're singing these songs from the headmaster. The headmaster was saying, sing this song today to remind my children of this. Sing this song today to remind my children of that. 
So what I'm doing is in the, what what these what vocab Malone doesn't understand and what GMS doesn't understand and what a lot of these people don't understand and what I'm trying to get through on this channel is that there's few a few of us that actually are direct contact with the Holy Spirit. And that's why when they try and say, oh, you have to learn the ways of the book from, from men. You f so I'm going to prove that right now again. I have to record this stuff. It has to get recorded. And even though no one's here and no one understands because it goes in and out and it goes all about, but it doesn't sink into your heart because you can't believe that this fucking dude, this crazy guy right here with the bloodshot eyes and the funky ass attitude has, has it right. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 31 verse 24. The Levites in charge of the book of the law. <sighs> Who's in charge? The priests. And it reads, And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in the book until they were finished. Then Moses commanded the Levites which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, What's it mean they bear the Ark of the Covenant? Covenant. They're the only ones that can carry the word. They're the only ones that know how to handle it. Why aren't we talking about this shit? Why are we talking about everything else? Because no one gets it. They're pushing agendas instead of pushing the word. Let's get down to the word, you, oh, you fucking dummies. Oh, irritating. I, I'm getting bored with everything I hear because I, I'm the only one that's saying anything. Oh, you know how tiring it is? Oh, take this book of the law. Moses commanded the Levites which bear the Ark of the Covenant, saying, Take this book of the law. Take it and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may, may be there for a witness against you. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, why I am yet alive with you this day. You have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. So what's he saying to the Levites? He's all... You guys are just as wicked as the rest of them. Put these, put this in the ark and keep it there for safekeeping because you are wicked to this day. And when I die, you're going to be even more wicked. And he's saying that to Israel. And then it says, gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to record against them. He says it again. <clears throat> and what am I doing in these last days? These words are coming out now against Bocab Malone, against GMS, against Sakari. I'm saying you guys are missing the point. Everyone's off, going off on all these fucking YouTube agendas that just are fucked up. For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves. And turn aside from the ways which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days. 
because you will do evil in the sight of the Lord to provoke him to anger through the works of your hands. <clears throat> Why is he pissed? Because they're doing wickedness. They're talking shit that isn't true. And what they're doing is they're drawing in other people that don't know any better. Barakata, Barakata, Kwamyasharala. People are following them right into the ditch. And Moses spoke in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. What was the song about? The song was saying, you wicked fucking people. I'm putting the book in the hands of the Levites and they're going to they're gonna have to carry it through. They're the only ones that can carry it through. They're the ones that are going to sing this song at the end. Give ear, O ye heavens. Let me see what I got. <clears throat> got a little bit of time. So I'm going to read the song. Give ye ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. O hear, O earth, and words of my mouth. Here we go again. No one's, no one's listening to me, but that's okay. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. What's that mean, GMS? It's not coming from your fat mouths. My speech shall distill as the dew. Where's it coming from, GMS? It's coming from the... As the small rain upon the tender herb and as the showers upon the grass. It's not coming from your fat mouths, you dickheads. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his worst work is perfect and all his judgments are right. A God of truth and without iniquity, just and right he is. That's what's wrong with you GMS in vocab Malone. Where's your justice? Where's your rightness? They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do you thus requite, requite the Lord, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he the father that has brought thee has he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will show you. Thy elders and they will tell thee. Who's your, who's your elder? Tahar? Maybe. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance... When he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirreth up the nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them beneath them out on her wings. Hello? <clears throat> He's the one. Not you. You need to pay attention to him. Stop thinking that everything that comes out of your mouth is fucking God's green earth. So the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. What's it say, GMS? So the Lord alone did lead him. Who's he talking about? Probably me. He made him ride on the high places of the earth. <clears throat> so, so where's the high places of the earth, GMS? Vocab Malone. If the earth is spinning around, which part's the high part? It's a flat fucking plane, you idiots. That he might eat the increase of the fields. What, what's a field? A field is a flat fucking place. And he made him a, to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Butter of kine and milk of sheep with fat of lambs and rams of Bashan and goats with the fat of the kidney and wheat. Thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. I'm done. I can't, I can't 
continue to argue this nonsense with these people. Let's see what this. Hello, Jeff. We look forward to seeing you. If you have an elevated temperature, <clears throat> cough, sneezing, or other flu-like symptoms, we encourage you to reschedule your appointment until you have been fever-free for at least 24 hours. All right. Off to work. I got to go earn my shackles. I hope you people are getting this. I mean, it's it's going to be recorded. I'm not I'm not afraid of what I say. And vocab and GMS and Sakari, they they better watch what they say, man. They're they're setting themselves up for failure. All I'm doing is singing the song, and the song is about having a heart for the Lord. With all your heart, all your mind, all your body, all your spirit. Not 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 trying to push an agenda, not trying to claim anything other than the Lord, the Father, and the and his only begotten Son, who he sent through the Holy Spirit to come and redeem us out of this fucking 3D fucking junkyard. This place isn't going to look the same when the Lord's done with it. It's going to be a totally different thing. It's not going to be all this pain and suffering. It's not going to be all this yelling. It's not going to be all this arguing. It's, this this shit has to end. JD Naja, I'm out. <laughs>